What's up YouTube, it's Jesse Mac, and today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your iPhone 4 to 4.1 while preserving your baseband. Basically so you can keep your unlock and also be on 4.1. So real quick, I'm going to show you that this phone is currently on 4.0.1. But more importantly, there's a version 4.0.1. More importantly, that the modem firmware or the baseband is 01.59.00. This baseband is unlockable, and this is the baseband you want to keep when you upgrade to 4.1. <clears throat> All right. So the, the one of the first things you need to do is download Tiny Umbrella and I'll have the link to Tiny Umbrella down in the description. So once you have Tiny Umbrella um, um, downloaded, you want to run it and you want to save your SHSH blobs um, for 4.1. So um, this is what you want to do. Uh, you can just click save my SHSH blobs right here and it's asking Cydia for SHSH blobs and as you can see this means that Cydia does have your SHSH. So that's what you want. Uh, and it says SHSH successfully saved. So after that, what you're going to do is you're going to click st Start TSS Server. And this is going to kill your iTunes. But what you want to do is you want to start iTunes back up again. So you want to click your device on the left hand side of the uh, column there and right here where it says uh, restore you want to uh, put your mouse over restore and shift and left click on restore this will give you an option to search for a firmware you want to download the 4.1 firmware from the Felix Brun website I will put the link to the description I'll put the link in the description to um, to that website so you can download the 4.1 firmware. You want to choose the firmware wherever you saved it. Um, I suggest saving it to your desktop and um, it'll pop up with this uh, warning you that you're going to upgrade to 4.1 and you just click restore. And up at the top here it'll give you exactly what it's doing. It's extracting the software.
All right, so you're gonna get this error. It's error 1004, and basically your phone will uh, be in recovery mode. If um, you just click OK on that, um, and if basically if you're in Windows, um, click No Thanks on the box that pops up. Um, basically, your phone will be in recovery mode. If you're on Windows, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, click Stop Server. Go ahead and click Stop Server, and then you're gonna click Kick Out of Recovery Mode. Now, if you're on Windows, and I repeat, if you're on Windows, um, this will work properly, and your phone will automatically reboot, um, and you'll be okay. You'll, you'll have to activate your phone. Um, but let me show you how to do this on a Mac. First you're gonna have to download Recboot and I'll put that link in the description as well. So this is Recboot and basically you're gonna click exit recovery mode and your phone is gonna exactly do that exit recovery mode. Now this is for Mac users. Um, like I said, for Windows users, you'll be able to use the um, kick device out of recovery button in the uh, tiny umbrella. Okay. Um, so you can now in put your SIM card in to activate it or you can hacktivate it through um, Lime Rain. So we'll just go ahead and hacktivate it. So basically this is the next step in jailbreaking your device. Um, you want to download uh, Lime Rain. I will put the link for Lime Rain down in the description. When you open, hold on one second. When you open Lime Rain, you'll get a box simply like this and you simply click make it rain your phone will enter recovery mode again this is when you uh, you hold the home and power button down at the same time you release the power button on top And as soon as it says NDFU mode, you can let go. And you are jailbroken and activated. So the phone is activated or hacktivated and you'll um, most likely you'll get this white icon it's okay after your phone reboots it'll um, have the original green lime drop okay so you need to be connected um, either have a sim card in or connect to a Wi-Fi so <clears throat> we're gonna connect to the Wi-Fi now and if you're running a legit sim you won't have to be connected to Wi-Fi you can just use the mobile internet that your carrier gives you okay so go back to Lime Rain and click Cydia and install This, this is probably the second song on the album though, the very last one. Oh, it just blends together? Yeah. Alright. So real quick, I'm going to go into settings. Um, I'm going to go into general, about, 
and now it's on version 4.1 so we've updated the firmware um, but the modem firmware has stayed on 0, 0 0.1.59.00 so now when we open Cydia we're going to be prompted to upgrade Cydia and I always just choose complete upgrade and confirm reboot device alright now that the Cydia is all updated you can now click manage sources and right here in this ultra snow repo you just click that and click ultra snow and ultra snow is the unlock it unlocks the uh, baseband so you can use your uh, your phone on uh, other GSM networks if you're in the US basically T-Mobile I don't think there's any other GSM SIM card uh, carriers in the US besides T-Mobile. But anyways, you reboot. And once you reboot, your uh, phone is jailbroken and unlocked on 4.1. Uh, rate this video 5 stars, um, leave a comment down at the bottom and uh, make sure to click the subscribe button. So thanks a lot and peace.